It's a beautiful day in our city of good abode, Memphis, Tennessee. Hi, I'm Stan Bell, serving you well and pushing more power than a Duracell. As you can see, Memphis, Tennessee, the city of Memphis, my home. I feel like doing the roll call because that's what I grew up doing. It's the roll call. It's the roll call. It's the roll call. What's up, y'all? What you got to say? Who wants a job with the city of Memphis today? All right, this is the bell ringer. The city of Memphis has so many jobs available with your name on it. You better sign up because uh, the Honorable Jim Strickland, mayor of the city of Memphis, announced up to $2,500 signing bonus for full-time employees and up to $1,000 for part-time employees. I'm talking police, fire, uh, solid waste, animal services, you name it in just a matter of moments. We're gonna find out what jobs are available and you can have them right now. Come on, get these jobs. Come on, go with me, let's find out more. All right, we're back. We're at the asphalt plant with the city of Memphis here, 1049 Sledge Avenue, the bell rigger all over the city. I was one of the uh, heavy equipment operators, Mr. Bill Winton in the house. I feel like bringing out a roll call right there. Bill Winton's <laughs> in the house with the roll call. He's got a great job, and you need a job like this too. Mr. Winton, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, okay. It's a beautiful uh, plant here. Uh, I see a lot of back holes and track holes, bulldozers. Do you operate those as yes. well? Yes. Wow. Talk to us about your job. Well, I mean, the weather, uh, what the city has on schedule dictates what we do. We come in the morning. Normally, we're paving streets, potholing streets. Uh, we may have to come in for storm damage, snow and ice. Uh, you know, we just just whatever the so, city, and the, the weather and the environment dictates that day. Uh, talk to us about... Uh, Man, so once you get here, about what, 6, 6.30? 6.30, So yes. folks who are applying for this job know you have to get up pretty much early and be ready to roll, right? And yes. then from there, your manager gives you the agenda they get, uh, for we, the they, day? They have the schedule made out, and then normally we're, you know, in here and get our work orders for the day and the crews to put together. And you know, 6.45, we're headed out the gate to go do our, our work for the day. Okay, so let me ask you, 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 since you're a heavy equipment operator, you uh, you navigate the back holes and the, and the, and the track holes and yeah. the bulldozers. Now, someone watching trying to get a job like this, is a CDL required for to be able to, to uh, drive they one have of these? A, they have operate? a requirement for a valid CDL. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the the and, and I think you have a time limit to acquire that. If you don't have it in your possession now, if you're out with a regular license, mm -hmm. I think you've got a, a, a certain period of time that they ask you to that you have to get it mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you've got you know I think they normally ask for some experience background mm -hmm. experience no in doubt. the heavy equipment deal okay. uh, then they do the interview and then they test you on various pieces of equipment mm -hmm. the dozer and the track holes the rollers back holes loaders and stuff like that yes any age requirement can an 18 year old come in and apply and immediately jump in if they've got their you know if they've got the credentials to mm -hmm. you know for the job i mean uh, normally i think they would used to require when i applied was a while back was three years experience okay. verifiable experience uh -huh. and a class and a cd a class a cdl is what my requirement was back in them days and that's been back in 2005 so <laughs> Work mm -hmm. showing up. I always say sometimes, Bill, uh, you find a job you love to do, you really never work a day in your life. That's true. You know, you, I mean, you're, you're enjoying, enjoying what, what you're doing, you're, doing, you're, you're a happy man, you know. Yeah, yeah. Miserable people make miserable employees. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's right. Right. That's right. So feed your family, get a good job with perks, uh, benefits, good compensation, uh, working around some fine, fantastic people. Now, before we let you go, Bill, tell us a little bit more about what else happens in this job. You know, you operate the heavy equipment, but you, you also do other things. You said when storm when the storms uh, happen. Well, street maintenance is on call for, for storm damage, uh -huh. for trees called. I mean, they're, they're, they'll call in, the EMA will, they'll contact the supervisors, they'll call us, they rotate it. Mm -hmm. You know, over time it's rotated yeah. out. Uh, so you just move, in, the, move the trees and debris out of the street. You we don't come and clear the trees the and get them. No, we so, don't. We okay. from sidewalk to sidewalk. Uh -huh. We clear the street, get it opened up for the, you know, the fire trucks, police, or whatever, yeah. uh, and, and you know, the hazards like that. And then in the winter time, we also put down the uh, salt, salt, sand, liquid brine for okay. the freezing weather. Uh, you know, if if there's something that falls off a truck in the middle mm -hmm. of the night, it's got a street block. We'll come in and get it out of the street and stuff. So yeah. it's, it's kind of an ongoing deal, and it's a different challenge each day. I mean, I love the sound of this, man. I love the sound of this, and I know someone's watching right now would love to work, not only work with you, but to get one of these jobs. <laughs> Thank you so much for what you do. Yes. Thank you for watching. Hot jobs with the city.